Alright, good day everyone. So welcome back to my channel and this is Kasaligan Vlogs. And today we'll be talking about factoring, common factors and special binomials. This is college algebra. So we have here the elementary factors, the common factor, the difference of two squares, the binomial perfect square, and trinomial of the form. So take note of these elementary factors because we'll be using this one entire uh, duration of this class. Okay, so elementary factors. And we have also the more complicated types. So sum of two cubes, difference of, difference of two cubes, sum of two odd number powers, and difference of two odd powers, and polynomial perfect square, and grouping terms. So take note of these more complicated types and their uh, common factors. Okay, so elementary factors that we have. So we have here factor completely. So we have to factor 1 to 12. So in number number 1, so we have here 8x cubed minus 12x squared 5. So this is what we call as the common factor in the form of a x plus a y is equal to a x plus y. We need to get the factor of this uh, 8x cubed minus 12x squared. So if we're going to factor this one, we have the factor is the common is 4 and we have x also. We have 4x squared. So if we're going to get the 4x squared here, the remaining is 2x and the remaining of this one is 3y. So this is the common factor of this is 4x squared. Okay. So that's number one. So number two, we have here same the common factors. So we have here 2a squared plus 4ab minus 8ax. Okay. So we have to get the common factor. So what is the common factor of this one? The common factor is 2a because every term has a. 2a, so therefore this is a plus to b minus 4ax. Okay, so the factor of this one is 2a, the common factor. So number 3, so r, we have p plus q minus 3p plus q. The common factor is p plus q. So therefore, p plus q, then there are times r minus 3 okay so that's a p plus q so this is we could rewrite this one as r a minus 3 a so a r minus a uh, r minus 3 rather so what is the value for a r a is equal to p plus q so therefore r minus 3 Okay, so the same concept with this part. So we have here number four. So I'll just copy later, number four. So in number four, we have 16x squared minus 25y squared. So the form of this one is a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b a minus b so first is we're going to get in this term which is our a is 4 x squared that is equal to 4 x our b is equal to 25 y this squared that is equal to 5 y so in this form we have okay so the factor of this part is a which is 4x b plus 5y and we have 4x minus 5y. So this is the factor. So number 5. In number 5 we have a squared out of 4m squared plus 20mn plus 25n squared. So this is in the form of 
a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b squared. Okay, so we have here 4m squared plus 20. So first is we need to get what is our a. Our a is a 4m a 2m squared is equal to 2m. Our b is equal to 5n squared that is equal to 5n. So therefore, if we're going to use this, since this is in the form of this part, so which is 2m plus 5n squared. Okay, so that's number 5. In number 6, we have a squared minus 2ab. This is in the form of this one. So a minus b squared. Why? Because this is 49x squared minus 42x plus 9 is equal to first we have to we have to get a here is 7x squared so therefore we have 7x our b is equal to 3 squared which is 3 so therefore we have a minus b we have 7x minus 3 then square so this number 6 in number 7 number 7 here we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 so this is in the form of x squared plus a plus b x plus a b so first is we're going to factor 6 and uh, 6 which is to make it 5 so the factor of this one is uh, when you take the product when you add so only two three all right so two three not five one because it will become six the factor so therefore this is r the factor of this one is two three so we can have this factor as is equal to x plus a and x plus b so we have x plus 2 and x plus 3 so this is a factor so just get the factor of this one and if you're going to add because this is addition the result is the center part okay so that's number seven let's proceed with number eight number eight is 6x squared plus 7x minus 20 all right so this is in the form of a c x squared plus a d plus b c x plus b d is equal to a x plus b and c x plus d so first is we have to get the value for this part by the trial and error method, we could have the factor of the 6 is 2 and 3. And the factor of 20 is 5 and negative 4. Okay, so these are the factor. But take note, it should have the resulting part is the center part. Okay, so let's try first AD plus BC. So if this is our A, this is our B, and this is our A, B, A, uh, this is our A, and this is our C, this is our B and D. Okay, diba? B and D, and A and C. A, D, and B, C. Our A is 2, our D is negative 4, plus our B is 3, on a 5, our C is 3. So we have here negative 8 plus 15 that is equal to 7. So therefore, this is the factor. This is the number. 
our a here is 2. 2x plus our b is 5 and our c is c is 3x plus d which is minus 4. So this is the factor of this one. This is all, but you have to take the trial and error method here, the TAI method, in order for you to get A, D, B, C, the resulting one is the center part. Okay, so that's number E. So number nine, number nine is we have the problem. So E, X minus 2, B, X minus 3a plus 6b. So this is a form of a grouping terms. So ax plus ay plus bx plus by. So this is in a grouping term. So therefore we can factor this one as a x plus y plus bx plus y. So the factor of this one is x plus y and this is a plus b. Okay. So this is the factor. So if we're going to factor this part, okay. So we have factor x, and this is a minus 2b. And here we have to factor 3. So minus 3a minus 2b. So since we have the same a minus 2b here, Okay, then x minus 3. So this is the factor. So that's number 9. In number 10, we have here the result. In number 10, so we have the problem. x cubed plus 8 is equal to the factor of x cubed plus 8. So x cubed plus 8, this is in a form of a plus b times the quantity of a squared minus a b plus b squared. Okay, because this is in the form of a cubed plus b cubed. So this is the factor of this part. So first is we're going to find the a. a here is equal to x then cubed. So therefore our a is equal to x. Our b is equal to 2 cubed that is equal to 2. So therefore by this part we have a, a plus b. So x plus 2 times a squared. So x squared minus the product of this one minus 2x plus b squared plus 4. So this is the factor for number 10. Okay, so number 11. In number 11, we have here the problem. Twenty-seven m cubed minus eight n cubed. So still, this is in the form of a cubed minus b cubed. That is equal to a plus a minus b rather, a minus b, a squared plus a b plus b squared so take note of this type so first is we're going to get our a here so this is 3 m cubed that is 3 m our b is equal to 2 n cubed that is equal to 2 n if we're going to substitute here so what is our a? We have 3m minus 2n. Our a here is 3m squared plus the product of this one which is 3m 2n then plus b squared which is 2n squared. Okay. So we have here 3m minus 2n, this is 9m squared plus 6mn plus 4n squared. So this is the factor. Okay, 
So that's just, let's proceed with number 12. In number 12, the problem is 4x squared minus, other minus 4xy plus y squared plus 12xz minus 6yz plus 9z squared. So this is a very common and this is a polynomial of perfect square. So we are going to arrange this one, 4x squared plus y squared plus 9z squared minus 4xy plus 12xz minus 6yz. So the special type product, so since you have to factor, we have finished with a special type product. So in this case, we could now say that this is in the form of a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2ac plus 2bc is equal to a plus b plus c squared. So since we have here, we have to look for our a. Our a here is equal to just look for a, b, and c. Because if we're going to locate here, same here, this is a pattern, and this is the pattern. So we have your a here is 2x or b. So since there is a negative sign here, so we will protect what which of the following a, b, c is a negative. So if this is negative, either x or y is negative here. In this case, if z is negative, so it will be positive if we will let this y as negative. So therefore, in this case, xz, so therefore y is negative here. So negative y. And c is equal to 9, which is 3z. So by the use of this factor, so we have 2x minus, minus y plus 3z squared. So this is 2x minus y plus 3z. So thank you so much and we have here stop try this factor completely. We have five items. So take this one at home and answer. Thank you so much for listening and God bless everyone. We're about to have our uh, final examination. Okay, thank you.